Aloha and welcome to another Roland DJ808 tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you my quick and easy way to set up a single button press and to sync all the cells in the Serato sampler in Serato DJ Pro. As you can see in the center of the screen there, all the ones that are beat gridded or beat driven and have some kind of tempo indication can be looped and can be synced and to do this quickly and easily with the TRS or with one of your decks it is as simple as pressing a button. Now, I like to use deck three for my sampler in Serato because this dedicates just a whole channel that I don't need to use as another playing deck. So I've assigned it to my sampler, which means I get volume, I get these channel effects, I get cueing, EQing, gain, of course, trim. I also get a uh, effects one and two on that channel. So I can have this go to just the sampler and this leaves this for the drum machine TRS section on its own. I like that setup. Follow it if you like. It's very fun to use. Anyway, I use three. That way I can always keep it in sampler mode. I could go back to one to play my deck. But I know when I go to three, it'll be in sampler mode, ready to play, and ready to do other things. Like use this slip button to sync all cells at one time. Kind of like a macro. So let's check it out. In Serato... Make sure you go up to the settings, your MIDI tab, highlight the DJ808 or DJ505 or 202. This will work with them all. And then allow Serato hardware remapping. Now on the 202, I don't believe there's a slip button. I can't remember off the top of my head or one on the 505. But if there's a button that you don't currently use, you can use that button for deck three. Onward. Make sure after you highlight it, you check this box here to allow Serato hardware remapping and then close your settings. This should activate the MIDI tab here. So when you press it, you get a few more options. Things show up in blue brackets. We're going to come down here to the sync button right here where it says primary. We're going to click it on our computer and then on the DJ808 on deck three, I'm going to press slip. I press it one time on the screen. It tells me that it's been assigned to channel three, note 15, and then I can move on. I'm going to come to the next one. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to press slip. And when I come back, it's going to tell me that this MIDI control is already assigned to another function, which is the other sync that we just did. Now you can overwrite it, which we don't want to do, or press A on your computer keyboard to assign it to this as well. So you're adding this to the same assignment. So A. Now, move over to the next one. Click. I'll do this quicker. Slip. A. Move to the next. Click. Slip. A. And so on and so forth. Click. As you can tell, I'll just do slip. A. You don't need to see me do it every time. Click. Slip. A. Click, slip, A. Click, slip, A. Becomes quite tongue twisting after a while. Anyhow, we've gotten all eight of them to be assigned to the same slip button that we've pressed. We'll get out of this MIDI uh, mapping mode and now we can try it out. If you have samples loaded up f into your cells that are loops and are syncable, you should be able to just press the slip button on top of your DJ808 or one of your buttons on your 505 or 202 and you will see the sync light up across all of them. Let's try it out. There you go. Everything that can be synced is synced. Now something to keep in mind that when you do press uh, one of the parameter buttons in sampler mode it will switch banks right of your samples which is a very nice function but you'll see it takes away your sync. Now you can simply go to the next one and hit slip real quick and you'll sync again. Change slip it changes for you that way you're good to go everything's synced up and you can play on i hope you found this really useful and if you have go ahead and like it so we can spread the word about this neat little trick and if you like what i'm doing go ahead and subscribe and if you want to support what i'm doing ring that bell to be notified every time i do it thank you for checking this out i hope you've gotten something out of it and as always thanks for watching